I don't know, ghouls and gals. I feel weird. I feel... I feel... I wanna be the fucking best Like nobody ever fucking was To fucking catch them is my real quest To fucking train them is my cause I will fucking travel across the land Fucking searching fucking far and fucking wide These Pokemon, they understand The fucking power that's inside Fucking Pokemon, gotta catch a mo. Whoa, where did that come from? That was really weird. Like all my new movie reviews, I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, simple, and to the motherfucking point. All right, guys, let's get it started. Um, Detective Pikachu stars Ryan Reynolds as the voice of Pikachu and Justice Smith, and it also stars Ken Watanabe, and it also stars this girl who you might know from the Disney Channel. Her name's right here. And it also stars this guy who you might know from Shaun of the Dead, and it also stars this guy. And that's pretty much your basic uh, cast of uh, Detective Pikachu. Oh, and all of the very cool and cute, lovely Pokemon as well. Um, I want to start off by saying Detective, 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 Detective Pikachu is probably the cutest fucking thing that I'm going to see this year. This movie is so fucking cute, guys. How could you not like this guy? How could you look at the little cheekies? I want to pinch the cheekies. It's so cute, dude. It's so fucking cute. It's so cute. I really had a lot of fun with this movie. It, it, um, I took my niece to go watch it, and she's about 10 years old, and me and her just had a blast. She didn't know that much about Pokemon, but now she's super interested in Pokemon, and me, I'm a huge poke nerd, as the cool kids call it, and, uh... I had a blast. I had a blast, like I said. I enjoyed uh, this creative plot that they came up with, and I enjoyed the way they treated the Pokemon. I enjoyed the way that the Pokemon looked. I mean, they looked incredible. They looked like what I pictured as a kid, what they would look like in real life. This film really brought that uh, nostalgia factor home for me. And you know what? It didn't bash me over the head with the nostalgia. It wasn't like, here's a Pikachu. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> you used to like this when you were a kid. <laughs> It didn't do that. It w was very light on it, and it was very, uh, I guess the term you would use is user-friendly. It's for anybody, this movie. You don't have to really know about Pokemon or Pikachu or even the Detective Pikachu game, which this film is based off of. It's a really good, family-fun film. And I was kind of worried that, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds, a.k.a. Dead Deadpool, was going to have a hard time kind of wrangling it in. And he doesn't. I mean, he does make a little bit more mature jokes for the adults in the audience, but they're also, you know, G-rated enough to where kids can understand them and also find them funny. That's the one thing that this film does very well. It strikes that good balance of, of adults being able to enjoy this and kids being able to enjoy this. So for that, I really enjoy Detective Pikachu. Um, that's not to say, you know what I mean, it's the greatest movie ever because those movies are far and few in between. But I will go out on a limb here and say that Detective Pikachu broke that or broke that fucking mold where uh, critics and uh, video game uh, audiences say that video game movies suck. This is probably the best video game movie ever fucking made. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Yes, it's better than this movie and... Hell yeah, it's better than this movie. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably one of the better video game movies. Or like I said, one of the best video game movies ever made. And who would have thunk that it would have been a fucking Pokemon game that would have broken the mold and got people to realize that, hey man, these video game movies can actually be fucking good. Um, 
I want to go back and talk about Ryan Reynolds as Detective Pikachu for a second. I know everybody out there in the internet land wanted this guy to, vo to, to voice Detective Pikachu, but I have to say, now that I saw the full movie, I really feel like Ryan Reynolds is, is oddly enough, the voice of fucking Pikachu. Like, I, it just fits, you know what I mean? Especially for the Detective Pikachu character, who is a, you know, a fun, lovable, but kind of gritty uh, detective who fucking uh, loves to drink coffee. You know, that's, it's fun, you know what I mean? It's fun, it's funny, and Ryan Reynolds, he, oddly enough, fits that part. I think if we would have got this guy, Danny DeVito, to voice Detective Pikachu, it would have been a whole different movie, and it may have been not as good as it as it is as it is now. Um, there's one thing that I can say that I didn't really like about Detective Pikachu was, at times, these really cute, uh, cool-looking Pokemon, they did look a little too CGI heavy, and you kind of the juxtaposition between human characters and CGI characters, you could tell who was real and who wasn't real. And I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, there's so many Pokemon in this film that I understand that Pikachu has to look the best. And oddly enough, Psyduck, who this film focuses on a lot, uh, those two Pokemon, they look the best out of all of them. Even Mewtwo, at times, he kind or he or she, Mewtwo's kind of like an androgynous character, looks uh, not so great sometimes, but sometimes he does really look great. So that's one gripe I had with the film that sometimes the CG the CG uh, wasn't on par you know some it kind of fluctuated throughout the film um, but that's not to say again I had a really really fun time with this film um, it does kind of follow some of the same uh, tropes and cliche that uh, cliches that other films have you know what I mean the uh, Justice Smith's character meets uh, Pikachu and he's kind of like, no, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. And then later on, they, you know, they're best friends and then they have the inevitable fight and then Pikachu comes back and you know what I mean? And saves him. It, that, you know, the plot, I mean, every movie does that. You know what I mean? There's only so many directions you could take a film. And I mean, I didn't really have a problem with that because the plot of this film is, is creative, creative enough that it supports that. Um, I don't really want to say a lot more because I don't want to spoil this film for you and I know I do that sometimes and I'm sorry that I do that but I get so excited that I just want to say everything and I'm going to try to work on that. <laughs> so I'm going, to, I'm going to shut the mouth and I'm just going to give you a final verdict for this film. Um, Detective Pikachu, in summary, Detective Pikachu is a fun family film that uh, both adults and kids can enjoy and it, it's actually pretty funny and if you're a Pokemon fan you're gonna enjoy this film and hell even if you're not a Pokemon fan you probably will enjoy this film and so for that I'm gonna give it eight Pika Pikas out of ten Pika Pikas that's right guys Pikachu Detective Pikachu is an eight out of ten film I suggest you after you watch this movie review go out and get you some Detective Pikachu because you're gonna fall in love with this cuteness. I mean, how could it? You're so cute. Oh, what a bitch of cheekies. All right, guys, that's enough out of my silly ass. I'm Ryan T, and I'll see you in the next one. Pika!